We are awakening To the calling of the mystic Awakening We are awakening As an invitation into a process, I, I feel the steam is very much in the air here. And I don't actually know what's going to happen in this process, but I feel that something needs to happen with the legacy of generational pain. Generational pain. In one of my recent processes, I had an unusual thing happen, and I normally have never shared this before with public group. But um, three weeks ago I had a process and in it the, the theme that I uncovered was being both the victim of this violence and the victim of aggression, the victims of horrors, and also being the victimizer, the perpetrator. And I actually went back into my mother's womb, and prior to coming into this life, where I was just an infinite soul. And as I was there, just as an infinite soul, I saw all these lines to all the other lifetimes, hundreds, perhaps thousands of lifetimes, where I was either the victimizer or the victim. And it was equal play pain in every one. But I thought thousands and thousands and gathered who was doing the process asked me, do you want to go into one of these past lives or genetic memories? And I said, no, it's the whole consciousness. I, I brought this consciousness from all these lives where I've been the one hurting people and the one who was at the other end of hurting. I brought this whole theme from all the lives in with me this lifetime. It's time for this theme to finish. It's time this old karma that I brought in with me of being both the, the victimizer and the victim. It's time now for this to finish, this legacy of pain. And so I'd like to just see if some process for all of us can can be birthed out of this. And so 
I'm going to do a process right now. I, what's arising for me is to take you into a process I've never done before at the front of the room. If you would be open to this, how many of you feel a, a resonance with this theme? Okay, so pretty much we all do. So let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. Let's take a nice, let's do this as a divine experiment, okay? Take a nice deep breath in. And letting it out. Closing the eyes. And just letting your awareness be vast and infinite and free in front of you. And boundless and spacious and free mind. And aimless to all sides. And I'd like to ask you in your mind's eye to imagine a campfire. And you already know the nature of this campfire is unconditional love and acceptance. And we're going to start by inviting a younger you that can be any age range, zero up to now, and also the present day you, and also a mentor who's wisdom you trust, be a sage, a saint, an enlightened master, someone in whose divine presence feels safe. And if you look at the younger you, every one of us raised our hand that we could relate to this theme of being either the victim or the victimizer, the one inflicting harm and hurt, or the one who's been the victim of that harm and hurt. And if you look at the younger you, you see the younger you's been encased in a kind of shroud, a mantle, a dome of this consciousness that they probably came in with that's stored in all your cells. And there's been a lot of self-blame. And there's been a lot of self-judgment. And there's been a lot of suffering. That when we have this consciousness stored in our cells and in our DNA, it's, there's a lot of beating ourselves up, a lot of judging ourselves. And so I'd like to ask you to repeat some words in your own language, whatever language that is, but you need to speak it out loud to the younger you. And let's begin by first of all saying, I'm so This whole issue of being the victim and the victimizer. You came in with this consciousness. <laughs> and it was stored inside you. But all I ever did was judge you for it. When you were hurtful to other people, I judged you, I made you wrong, I blamed you, I even hated you. And I grew to hate myself. And when you were the victim of hurt, I grew to hate the other person. And I judged that other person. And I blamed everyone. I blamed my parents and my grandparents and my great-grandparents and mainly I blamed myself for even existing. And all I did was judge you. And I'm so sorry. None of this was your fault. 
we all of us came in with this consciousness. And of course we danced that mistake. We became the very karma that we brought in with us. And in all this, I just felt so separate. opening the chest of the present day you and let not only the younger you forgive you but life forgive you God forgive you for continuing this consciousness and judgment and now asking a guardian angel to come and if this younger you has been trapped behind this coat, this mantle, this dome, this shroud of being separated and alone in being both the victimizer and the victim. I like them as if it were a, an actual solid consciousness right now. Have some mentors and angels come and lift this solid consciousness up, off you. And now throw it into the sun. To take all the walls you've created in this life, the dome, the lampshade off, and throw it into the sun. And now I'm going to ask the mentor or the angel to step inside of you. And it's going to sweep you clean of everything that was never your own belief. It's going to go inside your body and it's going to sweep you clean of all of this consciousness. It's going to go in the corners. It can sweep you clean, wash you clean, vacuum you clean, brush you clean. I don't care how the mentor does it. Just sweep you clean and sweep yourselves and wash yourselves clean of this consciousness that never was yours to begin with. It was never yours, you inherited it. So sweeping you clean, washing you clean, to get all, it goes to nooks, crannies, corners, everywhere. Just absolutely make sure that you've been swept clean, put it into a box, tie it up with a ribbon, and throw it into the campfire right now. And now I'd like to ask in front of you, for your cells to appear in front of you, and also your DNA strand. It's like a strand made of light. Science has found, as I've told you, that the DNA strand changes in your lifetime. And do you know that there's actually a gene for compassion? That there are, they've done actually these tests on rats where they've extracted their DNA and they've found that if a cat is, if a rat is not loved in its lifetime, its gene for compassion, it shuts down. And if it then gives a birth to another baby rat, the baby rat will be born with no gene for compassion lit up. But if the baby rat in its lifetime has compassion comes towards it, love comes towards it, Compassion gene comes on. And so right now, I'd like you to look at your DNA strand. 
And I'm going to ask grace, God, life, the universe, angels, mentors, whatever it takes, for you to wash your DNA strand clear and clean for all your genes to light up. And for right now, for this compassion gene to be turned on. Let it be turned on. This is compassion for both the victimizer and the victim. Because we've all played all those roles. See your compassion gene turned on. And now letting these genes go inside the cells and see all of your cells, every cell speaks to every other cell in the body at every given moment. So if you have one cell in front of you, and one DNA strand in front of you is right now communicating this consciousness to all the cells and all the DNA strands. And so see the DNA strand now be inside the cells, and now the whole cell is lit up with this compassion consciousness. And now, in front of you, I'd like you to imagine your mother, your father, your grandparents and your great grandparents and say out loud to your mother, your father, your grandparents, your great grandparents, their great grandparents right down through the beginning of time, the generations of time and just say to them, I'm so sorry. All of us carried this consciousness of both being the victimizer and the victim. And it's possible to change our genes. It's possible to find love for both the victim and the victimizer. And I've already released all the consciousness that you've passed on to me. That's all you can let go of. And now I want to give you the ability to do the same. But first of all, if there's an energy cord that ties us together, if there's an energy cord, an umbilical cord that has tied me to you, I'm going to invite a mentor to come, or an angel to come. And the angel's going to slice, sever that umbilical cord, and let source go back to you. Let this compassion, let these fresh genes, this new consciousness go back to you, back to your parents, to your parents' parents, to the parents' parents' parents, right back all the way through to the beginning of time. And so, when you're ready, let the, right now, you're going to let the angel cut the cord and let source go right back through all the generations. There's the beginning of time. And source will come back to you as well. Source goes back to them. And source goes back to you. And now letting the DNA strands of all your forebears, all your ancestors, be washed clean. Be washed clean. It's the beginning of time. And see the spiritual shower going back through to the beginning of time. And say, this time, this consciousness stopped here. <coughs> And now bringing your children, if you have children, to your campfire and say to the younger you, you have permission to be washed clean of this old consciousness. And right now, seeing in your children that Grace is giving a spiritual shower to your children and washing their DNA clean. 
washing their cells clean. And just say you are free to love every aspect of yourself. You are free to love the victim. You are free to love the victimizer. You are free to have compassion for all of life. You are a compassionate soul. And now, if there's an umbilical cord between you and your children, cut that cord and let source go to your child and source come back to you. Source goes to your child and source goes back to you. <clears throat> and sending to all both your children and the children's children and the children's children, and to your forebears, your ancestors. They are free to live a life of compassion. And now, let them merge into the light. And hugging the younger you, letting the younger you merge inside you, growing up now, as this new consciousness, and now I'd like to ask you to go back through time, back to an earlier memory where you may, or an earlier time where you may have been a victim or a victimizer. And then touching on even a post-birth memory in this life where you may have been a vict victim or a victimizer. Just go back to that consciousness. You don't have to see the memory. And now I'm going to ask you to go inside the womb your mother and then go back to a time when you were just single cells and now prior to life you're going to go back to when you were just pure consciousness and that's what you are right now the who you are is just pure consciousness this love this life and I'd like you to see the strands that have connected you to all the other lives you may have lived. And right now I have a mentor. Cut all the strands where you've either been a victim or a victimizer to all these other lives, all these other karmas. And let source go back to those lifetimes. See what happened there. Just pure light is going back to all those lifetimes. Just see that happening. Cut all the strands and say to life, it's time to be free from this old karma. I set myself free from it. And I come in as compassion for both the victim and the victimizer. So taking a balloon that who you are is love and compassion for all of life, no matter what form it takes, breathing that consciousness in. And now let your soul come into your mother's body as this love and compassion. And let yourself be born that your cells and your DNA are made up with love and compassion. And feel yourself growing up to a later memory where you may have been a victim or a victimizer and just bring love and compassion to that memory. And yet to a later memory where you may, may have been a victim or a victimizer and love and compassion to that memory. And just keep growing up with this consciousness of love and compassion, right up past that original memory, right up into the now. And you're growing up now into the future, where you're stepping into the future day from now of what is you're resonating as is love and compassion. And a week from now, as love and compassion. And that's the consciousness that's that's scintillating in your cells, your DNA, your being, love and compassion a month from now. 
and six months from now, over sixty percent, over seventy percent of the cells are already full. And a year from now, there won't be a single molecule a year from now was here today or the tree all new. And five years from now, breathe how you breathe. Feel how you feel and opening your consciousness for you five years down the line you. How it feels to live from this freedom, to love all aspects of yourself, the victim and the victimizer. So stepping into the future, five years down the line, feeling that way, feeling that way. Knowing the fact that you can even conceive of this means you can start from here. Consciousness has integrated itself. <laughs> Only as soon as all parts of you are fully integrated. And this consciousness is your new consciousness. You'll only be able to open your eyes. Only as soon as all parts of you have integrated this new consciousness. And when all parts of you have integrated that, you will be able to open your eyes into this fresh, before we open our eyes, I'd like us all to make a prayer for Germany, for Europe, for our world. A prayer that we all of us wash our DNA strands clean. We wash ourselves clean. That we take off these lampshades we take off these lids, that we take off these covers that have kept us separate, lost in this world of victim and victimizer. And really see that, see all the torches that are the lights of all the billions of souls that are our worlds. And right now, imagine that some huge force of grace is going to lift all the lampshades off of all the lights, of all the souls of our world. And see all those lampshades being taken off and thrown into the sun. As a matter of fact, there is a, a whole lid living our world right now, covering our world in a fear consciousness. And imagining right now that this huge lid of fear consciousness is being lifted off and thrown into the sun. And that all souls are free to be the lights that they are. Making this prayer. See some huge force of grace right now. We're in the year 2012 when this is possible. Imagine this huge lid is being lifted off the souls of our world and thrown into the sun. People are free to live lives from the truth of who they are, which is freedom itself, love itself, grace itself, life itself. And say to life, I give you full permission to live your life fully. To live from the love and compassion that is your essence. You are free to be free.
turning to the person next to you. And look them in the eyes and say in your own language, you are free to be yourself. You are free. you to lead, live your life, let shade free. I invite you to live from compassion. We have all been victimizers. We have all been victims. And right now the only, the only answer is love. Bible it says the greatest of these is love. Love wins. And it's time now to go on a break. We've run over, so I'm going to ask you to keep the break short. I know that your body is still processing. I know that mine is. I've never done this process, but I'm aware something has shifted. And I'm just going to ask you to keep lampshades free and off, stay as yourself, as this. Don't understand it, nothing to understand, to know, just be as you are. After the break, we're going to dive into the foundational teaching story of what the journey really is. And I'm going to use it as a springboard into my favorite process, which will open us into this infinite self. And will show us the various facets of our own diamond source. So please just stay lamb free. Stay lamb free. I thank you for this beautiful sharing. It opens some door for all of us. And I have this feeling, and I don't know this to be true. I feel that everyone in this room is the Roger Bannister of our time. That we've opened the door of consciousness. Let's not pretend we don't know who we are. Stay here. This door of consciousness has been open. It's time for everyone else to come running through. 